Get in the box. 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 Hold your breath. I promise this will be fun. No! No! Help! Go! So, so she's here now. Can you tell us what's going on? We are going to reissue your genetic code and place it amongst humans again. You're here for us to determine which of you shall be awarded another life on Earth. Which of you? What do you mean, which of you? There can only be one. But, but why? We just don't have the resources. So we're going to be separated? But we're engaged. You can't just split us up. We've always done everything together. Yeah, we know. In 2006, you graduated from the same college with straight A's. Then you went to the same university. Joined the same societies, made the same friends, and even graduated with matching firsts. Well done. H how do you know all of this? It's all in here. <sighs> so th this file contains everything about us. The file covers both of you, by the way. We didn't feel the need to waste another folder in almost identical records. So this file contains everything about us? Yes, from your first day at school to that lovely engagement party through for your friends, they're still talking about it. And the adoption of Pierre, your first Labrador, who you took to your newly purchased home. Everything. Everything. What are you doing? Look, we know all this. We don't need to read the file. I think it's interesting. It... Hang on. What are you doing? Look, it's nothing. It's nothing. What's this? Affair? You had an affair? I didn't have an affair. Yes, you did. It happened a long time ago. Last week. One time. Fourteen times. But it didn't mean anything to me. You loved her. I expected this place to be a bit more grand. It's not very impressive, is it? And we were expecting you sooner. Well, I hadn't planned on coming today at all. But then your neighbour decided to pay an impromptu visit. He's quite the amateur boxer, that guy, eh? You wouldn't be so cocky if you knew what we were doing here. Thirsty? No, I don't suppose so. You had enough to drink just before you came, didn't you? We're being judged by the way we led our lives. One of us will get a second chance. What? The, the three of us are competing? As I said, we don't have that many resources. So, Charles Davidson, you spent your entire existence causing pain and suffering to others for your own gratification. You left school at 16. Throughout your 20s, you spent your weekends and bank holidays following unsuspecting girls home and watching them undress. Then one day you took it further. You broke and entered the house of a girl you'd followed and held her underwater until she stopped screaming. This was the beginning of a series of sadistic and perverted murders which culminated in the killing of this young couple. After reviewing all three of your lives, we'll now make our final decision.
You were faithful most of the time. Yeah, but she was faithful all of the time. I think you should go for her. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so Jennifer, we only have one more question for you guys. Yes. How can you be so boring? I mean, I've been doing this for what, ages? Those are the most repetitive and monotonous 20 years I've ever seen. I mean, matching pajamas, really? Charles, on the other hand, has perfected three new murder techniques, has traveled the world looking for new victims. But we go to church every Sunday. Do you know how boring you two are to watch? We need some razzle-dazzle up here. Your lives weren't exactly excitement. Be gone, fools. Congratulations, Mr. Davison. Does that mean I have to move? <laughs>